Welcome back to our tradition, my viewers. How are you today? <clears throat> this is a beautiful day, Saturday, July 31st. And I said I have to do this video today after what I encountered in the park. There are so many people who don't know anything about Jesus, don't care to know. I mean, Jesus is just like a... Uh, I'm looking for the word, right word. Jesus is just like a by thought, you know, where people just say it and you hear it, but you don't even think about it. Um, but I'm telling you, we really need to pray. We need really need to start evangelizing a lot. So even if I might think or we might think, that when we come on talking about the Lord Jesus, people are not listening. It is not our duty to think that. Our duty is to make sure we spread the word. God will do the saving. God will do the drawing. We can't do anything. We just have to make ourselves available to do this. So today, I'm going to take you into the scriptures. I'm going to go into Jeremiah 35. And... Some of these words, these names, <laughs> they take your way out there. But at the end of the day, I'm going to try to do the best that I can. And like I said, this scripture, I, I'm sure I've read it before, but I've never gone in depth like I did last week. And I said, no, I can't keep this to myself. What is knowledge when you don't share it? So let me start reading. From verse 1 of Jeremiah 35 the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah from the Lord in the day of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah saying go unto the house of the Reshabites and speak unto them and bring them into the house of the Lord unto one of the chambers and give them wine to drink then I took Jehazaniah the son of Jeremiah, the son of Abizaniah, and his brethren, and all his sons, and the whole house of the Reshabites. And I brought them into the house of the Lord, into the chamber of the sons of Anan, and the son of Igdaliah, a man of God, which was by the chamber of the princes, which was above the chamber of Maziah, the son of Shalom, <clears throat> the keeper of the door. And I set before the sons of the house of the Reshabites pots full of wine and cups, and said unto them, Drink ye. But they said, We will drink no wine for Jonadab. Jonadab, the son of Reshab, our fathers, commanded us, saying, ye shall drink no wine neither ye nor your sons forever neither shall ye build house nor sow seed nor plant vineyard nor have any but all your days ye shall dwell in tents that ye may live many days in the land where ye are strangers thus have we obeyed the voice of Jenadab, the son of Reshab, our fathers, in all that he had charged us to, to drink no wine all the days of our day, all the days of our lives. We, our wives, our sons and our daughters, not to build house, houses for we to dwell in, for us to dwell in. Neither have we vineyards, nor field, nor seeds, but we have dwelt in tents and have obeyed and done according to all that Jenadab, our father, commanded us. Isn't that a wonderful bunch of people there were so obedient to their fathers, their forefathers, their ancestors, their, their you know, those who were older than them they made sure they gave them a command and they decided to keep it going 
they kept the tradition going we will drink no wine i think the muslims they don't drink liquor either you know right all the muslims i know they don't drink so you see what i'm saying they tell themselves we're not going to drink any wine so this is what the lord did the lord made a reference to these people and he he, he made a contrast between them and the israelites no these people were told not to drink any wine but jesus but god was trying to show israel how these people were so committed to their forefathers you know in the things that he had told them not to do but yet israel refused to be faithful to her god this is just a man talking the man said don't drink any wine when god come and said drink the wine right god spoke to jeremiah and said tell them to drink wine not that god wanted them to drink wine he just wanted to show israel you know the big difference between the reshabites and israel themselves right they would never drink any wine even though it was coming from a man of god if they put the wine before them and they said we will drink no wine we will drink no wine because our fathers told us not to drink any wine not to plant any seed not to build, not to build any homes we should live in tents we should be nomads right and those people obeyed so when the man brought the wine before them they said uh uh even though nobody's looking we are still not going to drink any wine but yet Israel she decides to serve idols to do everything that is evil every time we get a chance we feel God and I'm not just talking about Israel alone we are spiritual Israel so we I mean even people today Christians today every time we get a chance to feel God we feel him but these people held on to their tradition our forefathers said we should not drink any wine and we not nobody not going to tell us to drink wine this is something that we were commanded to do and we'll continue to do it why can't we do the same thing why can't we do the same thing this is a man speaking this is a a a, a, a temporal thing right and yet something that is divine and eternal we feel in that era right something that is not going to even bring us any real satisfaction because you tell us not to drink wine we're not drink, want to drink wine but what what is the benefit of us not drinking wine are we going to go to heaven for that no but yet when god said don't serve idols don't don't malice don't eat your brother don't you know what I'm saying? Don't put your money to use. You don't do this. Don't do that. Israel didn't care. We don't care. But God had to point out these people to show how faithful they were to just man-made tradition and the things that pertain to God. God's command, we don't even think about it. We just do what we want when we want to do it and we live our lives these people were faithful but israel is totally unfaithful to our god and these people are so faithful to their their tradition people are more faithful to their tradition and their culture than they are faithful to god sometimes you hear some people talk and when it comes to the things of god it's just not it's not anything big but when it comes to their culture oh my god oh they, 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 they're just in it you know they're so patriotic to their culture and to their to their tradition i mean man-made tradition and you know, not godly traditions because the godly traditions is like they feel in a way nobody don't want to hear the godly traditions of prayer 
you don't hear nothing like that much anymore. Only the church is praying. No, people are not praying. I remember back in the days when you, 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 even if your parents were not saved, they would make sure you go to church. If it's a Saturday church or the Sunday church, you're going. Some people go to both. <laughs> some, some children went to Sunday school morning and evening. So that's why you find people in the Caribbean and people from the African cultures are so versed with the Bible. They know the scriptures, but still knowing the scriptures and not adhering to the scriptures is like not knowing the scriptures, right? These people adhere to what their, their forefathers had said. They never forgot it. They continue to obey it. And they, they even told Jeremiah, look, our forefathers told us not to do it. And we will drink no wine, even though nobody's looking. We're not going to drink any wine. You cannot make us drink wine. And it was God who sent Jeremiah to them just to show Israel, look. You see the difference? You see the contrast here? You will not obey me, but you see how these people obey their, 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 their man-made traditions? And you will not obey me. I am eternal. I am God. I have a heaven to put you in, but yet you refuse to do what I tell you. What I tell you, it, listen, if you, if, if you think about it, they don't want them to drink wine. So they can't get intoxicated. They don't want them to build houses. They want them to be nomad, nomads, moving from place to place. You only make up a little tent. So we can not wet up your foot. Or, you know what I'm saying? It's not very comfortable when you're moving from place to place. But their fathers told them not to do that. Don't build any house. Don't plant any vineyard. Don't plant any seed. And you know, when you plant seed, that's how you're going to really multiply your food supply. But he, and it's kind of like, you know, weird. But yet, some of the things that people are committed to are kind of weird. But who are we to say anything about them when we are not adhering to our God? We're not adhering to the Word of God. God tells us, do this we do the opposite he said don't do this that's what we do but look at these people we can take a leaf out of their book and say listen if people can be so committed to man-made rules what about the the, the, the the laws of God we are adhering to man-made rules now man said this right and we're so ready to, 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 to adhere to the rules of man. You know what I'm saying? But we would not adhere to the word of God. We will not adhere to the word of God. So people, listeners, young people and old people, just take, take, a, take a look at the scripture, read it and see what's going on in the scripture and think about it right our ancestors have abstained from wine so we are not going to drink any mm -hmm. we're not going to break the covenant that we made with our ancestors but yet we break the, the, the covenant of god every single day i'm telling you i really had to repent when i looked and saw what was in the park you know when I spoke to different people, you know, and I spoke to one man and he said uh, he, he has read bits of the Bible, but he does not believe in Jesus. And I quite understand him. But he was such a nice young man and his wife was lovely and they have a nice little kid. One man told me, he said, well, you know, I really don't believe anything anymore. After I've researched everything, I realize I don't believe anything anymore. I'm just living my life. And I said, I understand you quite well, sir. And, you know, listening to the people, what they're saying, we need to listen for real. We really need to listen. 
So we'll know how to pray and ask God to open up your understanding. Because the, 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 the gospel is being preached, but we have to come out of the four walls and go into the streets and meet people. And, you know, because some people will not come to church because of some of the things that, you know, they hear about churches and social media. But, you know, I would just advise those people, don't even listen to what you hear. I mean, listen to what you hear, but don't allow that to hinder you because sometimes you really hinder people from coming into the church because of these islands and because of some of the things that, you know, church folks do. And, you know, we, we, do, we do not act as nobly as we should, but believe you, my dears are remnant and God is going to save his people without some of these islands, I'm telling you. Some of these charlatans, God is going to save people regardless. Because people need God. I watch people as they, they were ministering, people was, were listening to us. And, you know, they were not rude or anything. All the people I spoke, no, just one lady insulted me. And I don't, I don't hate the woman for that or anything. Because, you know what, I know I cannot take it personal. Because some of us have too much feelings right we have too much feelings as soon as somebody says something bad to us we we, 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 we we get upset and we don't want to witness because my 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 little sister is not rejecting me if she's rejecting she thinks she's rejecting me she's actually rejecting the lord but she's a young girl and maybe she never heard about jesus and she were she was on the phone talking to her friend you know what i'm saying so we can't judge these people because remember, we were not saved at one point, and we had the same attitude. Tell, tell the truth and shame the devil. We had the same attitude. When we were looking for him, make some money, we never have time for Jesus, you know? But when we heard the word, how oh, can they hear without a preacher? How oh, can the, the preacher preach except he be sent? You know what I'm saying? Because faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. And once we, sometimes we have to do some one-on-one. -on -one. Like my sister was saying yesterday, we have to do some one-on-one, -on -one, talk to people. You know, so I'm going to come on every week. If I don't even have any other video to share, I'm going to share my Saturday Sunday school. So when you go, if you go to church on Saturday, mm -hmm, and if you go to church on Sunday, it is there. You know, so um, I'm just going to pray now and ask God to open the eyes of his people and so they can acknowledge him as God and read the Bible, you know, because some of them have Bibles in their homes. Some don't, but some have Bibles in their homes and I encourage them to read the Bi their Bibles and I'm encouraging my viewers to read their Bibles because only the Word of God is going to keep us in this time and when we read the Word of God we have to remember it and the Bible says you will bring all things to our remembrance so and if you have not read it or you're going to remember it that is how people study for exams you read it, it maybe you have to read it multiple times but then when you see it again you remember it you know so we have to start reading the bible i implore you to read the word of god because that is the only thing that is going to help us prayer and the word of god prayer and the word of god that is that are the only, those are the only two two things that you know that will help us in this time we are living in some serious times i'm telling you yes people people are just thinking about themselves and what they can do for themselves and you know sex self-actualization and and this has been happening for ages you know but they're living they're still unhappy there's no peace there's no joy you know people are become get becoming meaner and meaner now people have their phone in their ears so and they listen to music so they lock out the whole world you know what i'm saying we, we we live we live among a lot of people we live among many people but yet we're, we're very lonely some people just live by themselves no family you know, they, they moved to to Alaska or Vermont 
and the families way down south. You know what I'm saying? People just, I'm telling you, the enemy wants to hold you by yourself and then he destroys you. But I pray today that God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for today. I thank you, Lord God, for the Sunday school. I thank you, Lord, for your people, Lord Jesus, who want to know about you. Father God, even some right now, they have never heard about you. But Lord, I pray, Lord, that through this word and through this prayer, they will come to know you and realize that you are the true God. You are a true confident. You are a true deliverer. You are, you are merciful. You are forgiving. Hallelujah. You are loving and you love your children that you have created. God, I pray that you bless us today in the name of Jesus. And God, I pray that you help me to be consistent. Oh, glory to God. If you even have to do this early in the mornings or late at night. But God, help me, Lord Jesus, to, to do my part. Glory to God. Hallelujah because God we don't know if we are going to be the last evangelizers we don't know if we are going to be the last people who sing the songs of Zion we don't know if we are going to be the last preachers that preach the message we don't know so God help us to, to, to manage our time well in the name of Jesus God I pray that you bless me and bless my viewers in Jesus' name. Amen.